Just four months after being detected with blood clots in his lungs, Miami Heat forward Chris Bosh is back on the court. I'm Jim Basquale. He's taking part in shooting drills with his teammates. Bosh said he could have played probably three weeks with blood clots in his lungs before it was ultimately diagnosed. His last game played was the NBA All-Star Game, and that was in New York. Let's bring in ESPN NBA front office insider Amin Al Hassan for some more insight here. And Amin, you know, he talked about the fact that he probably played some three weeks with this. What could have, just to give the, the viewers some perspective here, what could have happened had he continued to play and it wasn't diagnosed? Well, uh, Jim, as you know, blood clotting is a pretty serious condition and the most serious consequences, you could have a stroke and pass away. And that, uh, I, I don't know how close Chris Bosch was to that, but, you know, if one of those blood clots co uh, continues to travel up his bloodstream towards his heart, that could have been a fatal yeah. condition. So this was a very, very serious thing that he went through. And, and again, you, you, kudos to his doctors and uh, for detecting it. Uh, when they did because this could have been a lot more serious than it turned out for. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting because this was the second case of this happening in the NBA this season alone. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets, Mirza Toledovic had the same issue, and he actually came back at the end of the season, played a couple of minutes in a few playoff games, but, but not much. So there's not much of a, a frame of reference with regards to this injury. That being said, how should the Miami Heat approach this with regards to expectations of pro Activity from Bosch once they tee up the season again next year? Well, he's expected to resume full basketball activities by September. Uh, what everyone says is, you know, this is a manageable condition once it's detected as early as it was with Bosch. Uh, he's on the medication. It really is the medication that stops him from being able to play at the level that he's accustomed to. But he'll get off that medication soon enough, and then he'll be cleared to resume basketball activities, I don't think there's any reason why we shouldn't expect Chris Bosh to return to the court during training camp and be the same old Chris Bosh other than some rust he's got to work off. He's ESPN NBA front office insider Amin Al Hassan. Amin, thanks for some insight here. No problem, Jim. Again, Chris Bosh back on the court. You can read more about this story right here on ESPN.com. I'm Jim Basquale.